Today I am at the first tea museum of India. Here it describes in their history of plantations in South India. And as for the size, they have been segregated. So provide tea box where you can move around with the tea field. We also conduct tea tasting sections. Today I am at the first tea museum of India, the KDHP Tea Museum, also known as the Tata Tea Museum in Munar. And Andrew is going to assist me in understanding more about this tea museum. We'll do a short walkthrough, and you will come to know as to what you can expect when you are on a visit to Munar to KDHP Tea Museum. So here I am at the entrance of the tea museum and uh, with me is Andrew who is going to show us around. Hi, welcome Salish. Hi. So now you are at India's first tea museum. Here it describes in their history of plantations in South India. You have got something we say as burial urn. It's also known as a coffin for all tribal groups. Okay. You may get different urns but to preserve it as such is something important. It's a coffin, a small baby. Mm -hmm. Then we have got old roof tiles. The Pelton wheels is the old model of a turbine. We say the planters as pioneers because they have been well set, organized plantations in Munar. Okay. Then we have got the boilers, small boilers at home where we mm -hmm. have like for the instant which has been taken out by the geysers nowadays. Wheel of monorail, which is a mode of transportation in Muna. Then the ropeway system. We have light railway. Light railway, but unfortunately it got washed away in flood during 1924. So here we have a couple of photographs. That is the entire manufacture of tea. From the field, the first photograph shows the collecting of healthier boosters from the mother bush. Then we graft them, develop in their nurseries. Once it reaches the height of 15 inches, we prepare the land, we do the hauling and plant it. After three years, they are ready to harvest. And once we brought to the factory, the quality of the leaf is made in the field. We only preserve it in as such in the factories. Okay. We weigh the leaf, then it comes like first step is called withering, where we reduce the moisture level of the tea leaf, and it's the most time consuming one the tea manufacture. Then it's been minerate and brought away, where we crush the leaf into small pieces, then we let them for fermentation. It's just an oxidation process. Okay. Then we dry them for the shelf life. And we segregate the grades. As per the size of the tea, it gives a vibrant strength, briskness, strength. Then we clean the stalks and we auction it. Normally the tea in those days it was transported by the British planters from Muna to the top station by Railway, monorail, and then the light railway, then by the rock through ropeway to Harney to downstairs, and then by rope to the Bidi Port. <laughs> That's how the rope for transporting tea. This was from the top station to top station to bottom. Bottom. Body. Body. It is welcoming Rani Lakshmi for the inauguration of one of our tea factories in 1930s. Imagine 1930s with revolving lights. <laughs> Thank you.
glimpse of like knowledge of the bridge. The tea museum has also showcased the history of Munnar in the form of a film which is titled New Roads Old Mountains and is about 25 minutes long. So here we have the technologies used by the company in 1900s. The telephone exchange which was only dependent for the people in those times for communication even adding machine it's the first calculator. Then the facet calculator take over the cyclo styling machine, the fumigators, backpackers, even video a couple of pictures of 1924 flood. This was the coin age where the old coins of two on us were paid as salaries to the workers in those times. Company mean their own coin. This room shows the social welfare activities of the planters on those era. Horse race, rugby, they like more to work hard and play hard, still goes on with the company. Cooking range, we see a microwave in 1900s. Still working in every pen clubs. Pictures of 1947 independence and Muna. And this was the main town at that time. Main town. Right. And here we have like punching machines, which was used by a company in 1900s, which was later taken up by biometric systems. So here is a scrub. We will reduce the fresh green leaf and almost 55% of the moisture of the leaf get reduced. Okay. And it's a preconditioning for the manufacturing. Alright. That's the orthodox roller. Okay. We have seen the old version and this is the latest version where the roller works by applying the pressure cap from the top. Okay. And tea gets rolled. Alright. These are meant for the pure black tea. Okay. It has a history of almost 200 years. Wow. But now the latest introduced one, CTC method. CTC, fresh, tear and curl. It's a granular ST. Here we put up. So the leaf comes from the top and it moves to the by the through the conveyor. Goes up. Up. Yes. These are the different stages of it getting yes. cut. As the cut progress, it gets finer and finer. Then the oxidation step came where P again is characters like color, smell, aroma, flavor. It's a, it's, it does with a specified timings, depends upon the capacity of the drum. Okay. And from here, it moves to the dryer. Okay. We have the fresh coffee. Wow. Lovely. As a cleaning method, it works on the electromagnetic. Okay. The lighter parts get attracted to the roller. Okay. And they've been cleaned. Okay. Whereas main tea comes at the end. Alright. 
Then the leaf gets segregated in the vibrous pin and as per the size, they've been segregated. Size gets finer, they're going to give you more stronger liquor, more stronger color. Size gets larger, they'll be more flavor. So attached to the outlet where we get different vibrant products of our brand, Rupul. Here we also have a cute handicrafts where we carve unique pieces of cute stumps. What are the other activities uh, you have in we here? We also provide a tea walk where you can move around in the tea field. Okay. Take a couple of walks. To the plantation? To the plantation. Okay, interesting. It just takes one hour, one and a half, different as people interested. Okay. They may go for photographs. I will do the tea tasting room. We also conduct tea tasting sections where we taste different varieties of tea. Tea tasting is conducted in different fields with different aspects. Okay. In the factories, we do the tea tasting, ultimately we say the quality control. Okay. We have different teas being I mean, put into the market. Okay. So this option is available to all the clients who are coming in here? Yes. Oh. Though we charge separate, it's a special entry, but Understood. everyone can, who are interested, they may join the tea tasting section. So that was a short and crisp visit to the KDHP Tea Museum at Munar. So thanks to Andrew, we had a lovely walkthrough session of the Tea Museum and uh, I think he has given you enough and more reasons to ensure that you do visit this place when you are on a visit to Munar. So that's Shailesh signing off until the next vlog. See you.